Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for March 11th, 2021. Well, holy moly, did the bulls come out in force yesterday. Um, the house passed the $1.9 trillion, and I guess we had uh, more upside energy in that um, in that move, um, pumping the Dow to a new record, 32,000 for the first time. However, we continued to suffer a bit in the NASDAQ. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink and let's buckle up and get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning, everyone. Hopefully you were on the right side of the market yesterday and really enjoyed that bullish party. We had um, a 30 year bond auction that um, went successfully and that kind of softened those bonds. So we really created kind of that perfect storm of buying uh, with the market just really celebrating and partying. Um, the passage of the $1.9 trillion stimulus bill. So as we continue to just pile on debt, the market just loves it and we continue to soar. Now, one of the interesting things here with the Dow gaining so much energy here, what we're seeing is that the Dow and consumer defensive stocks are really gaining a lot of ground. So kind of keep an eye on those industrials, consumer defensive areas, big dividend payers. They seem to be the place where um, folks rotating or institutions rotating out of big tech seem to be rolling into those defensive sector and dividend paying type stocks. Right now, we have an incredibly strong bullish trend, and we've had these worries and questions. We had these two um, kind of shooting star tops up here, but yesterday they blew all of that away, um, just cruising to new record highs in the Dow, breaking through that resistance. No question here at this point. Now, I think the only question that we have to deal with is the fact that we've rallied so much. When does the pullback occur? If we take a look at, I'm gonna go to the Dow, take a look at the Dow and measure from um, our low on Thursday, and it, it's not gonna be exact, but measure from our low on Thursday to where we closed yesterday, we're up 1,722 points in just a few trading days. You have to assume that there will be some profit taking at some point in time, a little bit of backing and filling. So you wanna be kind of careful not to chase. Um, that fear of missing out is a very, very powerful emotion and can cause traders to chase because they've been missing the move. And um, you wanna be really careful at this point because we could at any time see a pullback or a significant um, 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 shift um, as profit takers come in to capture some of these massive gains. So watch that carefully, um, just be careful not to chase. But until that occurs, if you're in this move, um, I'm, I'm lucky to be in this move making really good money. Um, enjoy the ride because who knows how long this ride can continue as we continue to celebrate this deficit spending. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY rallying up. Now we've been wondering and a little bit concerned here about this downtrend that we continue to be challenged um, on. Um, but yesterday we resolved that downtrend problem and pushed on through. But notice we didn't have that big confident move like we did in the Dow. And we still have some resistance through this chart. However, this morning we are pumping it hard in the pre-market trying to push through some of these levels. And you can see here's our pre-market candle trying to push up through. Um, even though we have jobs data and things ahead, it just seems like um, the bulls just want to keep the party going. So watch that closely. You can't rule out the possibility of a gap up and then drop, a pop and drop 
type pattern as we continue to push up here to these highs. But I also couldn't rule out the possibility that those bulls just are going to be tenacious enough to just buy everything in sight and push us through that level. So watch that closely. Uh, Dow is definitely leading us back to the upside. Let's take a look at the cues. Now in the cues, we had kind of a disappointing day yesterday we had a pop and drop so we gapped up in the morning and pulled back significantly as big tech continues to suffer um, and I think what's happening is just a massive institutional rotation we're rotating out of those uh, you know the COVID high flyers that just run and ran and ran and ran and we're seeing that rotation out into more of the industrials more of the consumer defensive type sector stocks so we had a pretty ugly day yesterday putting in a dark cloud cover however this morning notice we've got a big pump going on we're pumping up the market here in in um the pre-market trying to show hey we've got no worry here we're going to continue to respond higher trying to break through this morning with a big reversal overnight so watch that closely we're still dealing with this downtrend um, in the chart and we still have significant price resistance levels in the chart yet to be defeated and we still have our 50-day moving average significantly higher here in the chart and it is rolling over so we'll want to pay attention to that as we continue to approach or rally to the upside. As a matter of fact, this looks more like a, a short setup to me than it does um, a, um, a long buying situation. Um, as a matter of fact, I may be considering a QQQ bear call debit spread or credit spread um, on this move um today as we continue to push up here toward that 50-day moving average let's take a look at the iwm now iwm also very very strong um, um, energy sector stocks um, financial sector stocks continue to rally substantially and we're pushing right up here into price resistance of the all-time highs here in iwm and this morning we are trying again to extend that party and keep it going going um, trying to gap up this morning one thing you want to notice here in IWM the way it's been moving is um, each one of these days we're gapping as we're stretching out so be careful here once again you don't want to chase and be buying right at the resistance point in case we do get that profit taking wave coming into the market so just watch that closely if you're not in this move don't chase it um, but if you are in the move continue to ride this wave because who knows how much longer it can go let's take a look at the VIX now that VIX still is um, a bit perplexing, but we had some good news yet yesterday in the VIX. First off, we saw the VIX kind of slide down um, below that little uptrend that we had created in the chart. So that fear dropping out a little bit here yesterday, but it is still unbelievable to me that we're making new record highs and our VIX remains elevated above 20 handles. It's a remarkable situation that I have never seen in my entire history, 30 years of history of trading. Um, it's a new dynamic. Um, I can't say that it's a wrong thing because I've never seen it before. It's just a new dynamic. And as we continue to hold this price support in uh, the VIX, um, we're still seeing those option prices very, very elevated um, as this volatility continues to challenge traders. So we'll want to watch that closely. But right now, we do have that good news that fear is dropping a little bit. We want to watch carefully just in case that fear starts to creep back in here however because we are in such an elevated place it could move really fast if it does and we've got a couple things that we want to keep um, in mind today that could create that we'll talk about that in just a second let's take a look at our t2122 t2122 is the four week new high new low ratio and we are pushing this up here into very rarefied air um, now we still have that upside we're gap up this morning but that gap up this morning is going to push us near to near to 100 I'm I'm expecting we're going to be right up there at uh, virtually the highest
this limit in uh, T2122. Um, notice we have done that before. We've come up here before, and every single time, you could go back as far as you want, every single time when we reach up into these levels, um, we end up seeing profit taking coming in. So I'm not saying it's gonna happen today, it may not be. Um, it may not be till next week, but we'll want to watch that closely as we continue to stretch this move to the upside. We're getting kind of overbaked to the in that upside move. So just watch for that possibility um, of a pullback. Then if we take a look at T2101, that market breadth. Now we did see a increase in market breadth yesterday on the buy wave. Unfortunately, we're really not seeing market breadth really um, engage all that well, um, though we're climbing and climbing and climbing. Um, notice we continue to remain in this market breadth down um, trend in uh, the chart. Now we bouncing, we're bouncing off these low areas and that is a good sign we're seeing that move. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see market breadth increasing or really spiking up dramatically if we happen to get that uh, profit taking wave. So watch that close. And then if we look at our economic calendar for today. This is going to be kind of an interesting situation. You know, we've had some challenges with the jobs numbers and this morning we're going to get our jobless claims numbers. Let's take a look at that. Um, that could move the market this morning. If it comes in better than expected or worse than expected, we could have some gyrations around that. Um, but at the same time, we're just parting. We are celebrating so much. We love this debt and we are partying hard. So it could be that we'll just ignore it and keep the party going um, as we just kind of have this exuberance. Um, no one seems to care how much um, debt we're piling on um, in the economy. And we're pushing these stocks relentlessly higher at the moment. Um, we also have the jobs or jolts number. Um, we'll want to keep an eye on that. Not likely as effective uh, or in market moving as um, the jobless claims, but something to keep an eye on. And we've got that EIA petroleum status report. I doubt we have any movement on that. Now, one thing I do want to point out here today is that we have a 30-year bond auction here at 1 p.m. Um, that's something we might want to keep an eye on uh, with bonds kind of being a little bit shaky right now. We might want to keep an eye on that 1 p.m. bond auction today, see how it goes. And then we've got the Fed balance sheet later on to the day. And nobody cares. Um, nobody cares how much debt the FOMC or the Fed uh, brings on. In fact, we're celebrating it. We just, we love it. Um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we have our biggest day this week. We have about uh, over 150 companies reporting today. And um, it's typical on Thursday, we have a pretty big day. Now a lot of these are very, very small cap companies not likely to really have a major impact on the market. But I do have some notables this morning. And if you want to catch the entire list of notables, click that link just right underneath the title of the video, and that'll take you back to the morning blog and you can catch some of those notables. I'll point out a few of them here this morning. Let's take a look at um, DOCU. DOCU is going to be reporting today. Now this was one of those stocks that just really flew in, um, you know, the COVID shutdowns and things like that. And now it's kind of choppy ranged stock. And we've seen here just recently, it has been selling off. Like I said, some of these big technical um, uh, winners um, or tech winners um, during COVID, really there seems to be a rotation out. Let's watch this today. It is in a downtrend if that earnings um, uh, number comes in good, perhaps we can start to correct that. If they happen to disappoint, of course, we could continue to see this breaking down, this kind of a rounding top looking pattern. So watch that closely. We have a ZUMZ. Oops, got a type can't type. <laughs> we got ZUMZ reporting today. This has been one of those really strong movers here. And small retail or these little retail stores have been doing very, very good 
um, here recently, and, and I'm guessing there is some hope or anticipation that some of the stimulus money will be spent into these retail stores. And you can see ZUMZ um, holding up very nicely in this nice little consolidating move here. Um, definitely in a bullish trend, and depending on how this reports, we could continue to extend that to the upside. So keep a close eye on ZUMZ today. Um, JD. JD um, will want to watch that today. Looks like they're getting a big move this morning popping up. They have been in this downtrend seeing a significant amount of selling here, rotation out. Notice we have a bit of a head and shoulders type pattern here, but we may defeat that this morning with this big pop that we're seeing in the pre-market. Watch that closely. This is a pre-market candle, by the way. Big pop up here, we're pushing back up into this price resistance. Let's see if JD can push on through that, or if that will be, that big pop will be an opportunity for folks to deleverage and and um, take their money out of that trade. We'll wanna watch that close. Um, we have GoGo. GoGo reporting today, keep an eye on this. Um, we have been moving down in just a little lower high, pushing down into this price support. Nothing bad here in this chart. Let's keep a close eye on it. Overall, we have that upside trend. So depending on how this reports, we could move on higher. Um, MTN will be reporting today. Now we've seen a big surge in travel related stocks here recently um, trying to come back. And so this might be um, kind of an interesting one to watch today as it reports. Keep a close eye on that. So there's a few of the um, stocks that I've pulled out for Notable. Once again, click that link if you wanna go back and catch the full list. So how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you can do me a quick favor, if you can click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be helpful, useful to the way you plan your day, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button. Leave a brief comment, helps my, um, uh, the algorithms, not my, but the algorithms of YouTube continue to uh, reach out to more folks and helps the channel to continue to grow. I got to say thank you so much. I, I never in my wildest dreams would have expected um, that there would be 18,000 people out there that would subscribe and um, like this kind of content. Very, very surprising to me. Thank you so much, everyone. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these some stocks that um, I've been watching here for potential setups and a couple that I'm already in. Um, but please keep in mind, everyone, that this these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Make sure, make sure you're following your own due diligence, your own trading plan, and understand the risk that you are taking when you jump into these positions. First off, let's take a look at Starbucks. Now, I've been mentioning Starbucks here recently. And Starbucks moved on through. Now, I talked about the idea that Starbucks um, may still rest in here. It had that little pullback that it may still rest in here, but the bullishness of the market is pushing this right through uh, to the upside. Keep a close eye on that. When pre-market, we're gapping up once again. I wouldn't be at all surprised. I wouldn't wanna chase this here four days, four gap ups. I wouldn't wanna chase this here for the upside. If you're in it, continue to ride this uh, move. But I think there might be an opportunity coming in this chart if we just rest or pull back and move our way back to this trend. So keep an eye on this. We're breaking out to brand new highs here. So blue sky above, any rest or pullback in here could set up a nice opportunity if you're looking for a chart. Uh, Starbucks just might fit the bill. Take a look at Disney. Now Disney had a big popping move and we heard news just the other day that they've already surpassed a hundred million in subscribers. We also heard on this big popping move that they were going to be reopening California parks 
And so we got a nice surge up. What I like about this chart is that we're at blue skies here. We have a beautiful upside trend. And now we're kind of resting and consolidating this move. So keep a close eye on this. As we continue to rest or pull back and move over toward this trend, I wouldn't be watching Disney for that possible entry um, to continue this upside move. So keep a close eye on it. Disney looking pretty darn good overall. As you guys know, I have been mentioning rig in the morning prep videos and yesterday was the day yesterday rig popped and went nicely a lot of the folks in RWO are in this trade um, I am in this trade I got in just a little bit late but I'm in this trade and holding about a 30% gain in this position already um, so watch that closely um, as this continues to uh, as as these um, oil sector stocks continue to rally um, um, this one looks pretty good now keep an eye on this um, holding above this support level and our next resistance level as we can see up in um, up in this area I wouldn't expect it to just race straight up there in fact I would expect some kind of arrest or pullback to occur long before that maybe even today but let's keep Keep an eye on this as we continue in this upside trend. Don't rule out the possibility as we push up, we may have to come back and test this trend. So just wait for your next opportunity. It's never ever a good idea to chase something that had a 19% run um, yesterday. Don't don't chase that. Just wait for the next entry into the trade. Um, in the same um, area, take a look at Valero. Now Valero has been pushing and pushing and pushing. It's pressing against this resistance level in the chart. And because we have all of this bullishness in the energy sector, you might want to keep an eye on Valero. It is trying really hard to push up through there. So keep a close eye on it. Now you wouldn't have to buy it here. You could wait until it breaks out pulls back and holds, holds into that trend, and then we may have that upside opportunity in that chart. Keep an eye on that. It's looking very, very good. As you guys know, I have been mentioning some longer term positions, and I do hold a considerable number of longer term positions. If you take a look at Mo, you guys know that I have been talking about Mo for some time. Our entry was down in here on Mo. That is unbelievably uh, powered up in this surge into consumer defensive type stocks. But I'm not here to talk about that. I wouldn't want to chase this move, wait for the next entry, but take a look at 3M. 3M on that same weekly chart, breaking this massive downtrend, holding support in here, beautifully moving up. 3M is looking good and seems to be gaining some energy. Once again, a big dividend payer really starting to pay off. I also hold this chart. Um, you guys know that I have been mentioning um, KHC. Um, KHC here recently and KHC has been enjoying a very nice upside move. Once again, I wouldn't want to chase this at this point, uh, breaking through a major bottom here, as you can see in the chart and rallying up significantly. Once again, this is a nice dividend paying stock and these stocks are really enjoying a major surge um, in buying. So watch this stock here for that next rest or pullback for that opportunity maybe to pick up some KHC if you want that nice little divvy pair, that nice little um, trade to, um, well, I just look at these stocks as that potential of just a reversion to the mean. Um, reversion to the mean is a statistics term. There's our high, here's our low, reversion to the mean, just coming somewhere up here in the middle. That's all I'm looking at, and that would be a significant point gain in KHC. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to uh, wish you good results in your trading. Remember, don't be afraid to take some profits because we have extended these markets and be careful not to chase overextended stocks. I want to wish you all the best. Be safe, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one, everyone.